Welcome. So what we have here is 1 divided by 2x uh, plus 3 divided by x plus 7 equals negative 1 over x. And remember, when looking at rational equations, uh, one of the most simpler um, the most simplest probably way to look at this is we can't apply cross multiplication unless we have a proportion. This is not a proportion, so what we like to do is multiply by the LCD of every single one of our terms to eliminate our fractions. Then we'll have an equation without any rational expressions in it, and we can just solve using our methods that we've uh, discussed in this uh, course. So what I want to do is look at here is I have the LCD, and I just take a look at each one of my denominators. Well, I notice I have a 2x and an x, so therefore I don't need to include both of them. I can just include the 2x. So therefore my LCD is going to be 2x times x plus 7, because this x is already contained in the 2x. Now, once I've determined the LCD, I need to multiply every single term by that LCD. And what that's going to do is that's going to eliminate That's going to eliminate my denominators. Or oh, I'm sorry, yes, my denominators. OK. And we'll see why. Because if I multiply these all in the uh, numerator and I have all my different denominators, then these are going to divide out to 1. So I'm just going to be left with x plus 7 plus here my x plus 7's multiply out. So I'm left with 3 times 2x, which is 6x, equals a negative 1, and the x's here cancel out. Negative 1 times 2 will be a negative 2 times x plus 7. OK, so now we've got rid of all of our fractions, which is good. We like that, right? So now I can apply distributive property, and I can combine like terms. So I have 7 plus 7x equals negative 2x minus 14. So now I have my x's on the same, or I have x's, they're linear, so that means I just need to isolate it. Get the x by itself and isolate it. So therefore, I'm just going to add the 2x here to the left, to both sides. That's going to add up to 1. And then I'll subtract the 7 on the other side. So therefore, I'm left with a 9x equals a negative 21. Divide by 9, divide by 9, x equals a negative 21 over 9. But I notice that I can simplify that, right? Those, are, those uh, two terms can both be divided by 3. So therefore, that equals a negative 7 over 3. And that's going to be your final um, solution, because you can make sure you check your answer into each one of these, plugging it into x in each of these values, and you're not going to get 0. So you're good. Thanks.